So we're making puddy today and we have got two cups of wholemeal flour, one cup, half. Oh, half a cup of white flour. So two cups wholemeal, half a cup of white flour and then we're adding some turmeric. Half a teaspoon. Yes. Half a teaspoon of turmeric yes. powder. And uh, half a teaspoon. Cumin powder. Yeah. So half a teaspoon. Less, less, more a little bit. Okay. About half a teaspoon. And a little bit chili. Yep, so chili powder to taste. So we're adding yeah, about. That one we like then. Yeah. When you don't like, don't put, yeah? Mm -hmm. And test for salt. And salt to taste. So yeah. we've added about half a teaspoon of salt. Just yeah. maybe a little bit Mixed over. Mix together like this, yeah? Yep. And that's going to be our flour. Yeah. And we put the oil now. Yep. One. Two tablespoons. Two. Put a lot of oil, then yes. your food is soggy. Oh, is that? Then when you fry, then it's going a lot of oil inside and like soggy. Can you make yeah. it with no oil in there? Yeah, without oil you make. Yeah. Is it, will it still be nice? Then it's a little hard. Oh, okay. Yeah, you need little oil, not too okay. much, but a little. little bit and mix oil. like this together, yeah? Yep, so the oil and the spices are evenly spread out. Yeah. Okay, and then what on your... Now we take the water. Hot water, yeah? Yeah. Hot and cold mixed together. Warm water. Like oh, okay, so not boiling water? No, no, no. Not for boil, pour it for boiling water. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're mixing hot water with some cold. So you're actually using boiling water and then you're putting some cold in there, aren't you? Cold, yeah. Yep. I take one cup. Yep. And I put inside slowly, slowly mix together, yeah? Yeah, I think that's important. You do a little bit at a time, yeah, mum? Yeah, because Just don't put too much. No when it's flour, your dough is loose, it's no good puri. Yeah. You need hard dough for puri. Yeah. So just very slowly. Put like this, yeah? Yeah, a little bit of water at a time. And mix like this. Yeah. And it's really important that you get this stage right so that your puri are nice and soft, yeah, mum? Soft, yeah, soft yeah. and nice. And like a couple of fluff. Puff up, puff yeah. up, yeah. yeah. Puri are a favourite in our family. Everyone likes them, even the children. The children love them. And I know we've had um, a few people asked us to make a video of it so they can make it at home. When you make the only salt, one puri also. You got no spicy, then put only salt and little pepper, black pepper, and make oh, the puri. Yeah. 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 Everybody got cumin and dot. Then put cumin a little bit, salt, and pepper. Grind yeah. paper powder. Yeah. Not everybody has cumin, but... Yeah, but then plant, uh, then black pepper, grind powder, yeah, and salt. Yeah. Yeah, you do like that also. So yeah. you're adding really small amounts of water, so you're making it quite... Are you making it hard, mum? Hard one, yeah. Hard dough? Yeah. Yeah. See, water still... Water so a whole cup, that's one cup of water gone. Yeah. Gone, yeah. A lot of poor people put the boiling water, then put it not very nice. Oh, really? Yeah. So we, you had like three quarters hot, did you? Or half hot, half... Half hot and half cold. Okay, so half boiling and half cold yeah. from the tap. Yeah, boiling kettle yeah. water, half. Yeah. And see, that dough is quite firm. Mm. Yeah, that's almost a whole cup, just... No, you won't no. need any more, will you, Mum? No. So it's we basically left, used... Left yeah, just... Side. Hardly anything like left. One in tablespoon there. left, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Now you know you need proper, yeah? For 15 minutes you won't need. Can you make this in the cake maker, mixer? Yeah, you're doing that, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, like we do samosas one, you know? Yeah, we used to make our samosas for so yeah. yeah, you make in there. But it's harder to get that texture of um, quite hard? right, yeah. It's like quite this, firm, yeah. yeah. So you keep roll, keep doing that for how long, Mum? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. So we don't. You need to knead the flour for ten minutes. So we'll come back in ten minutes. Yeah. So our dough is ready. Yeah. And we're just gonna put some oil on top, Mum. Yeah. yeah. Take take oil like this little in like your this. hand. Yeah. Okay. Then it's not going to dry. Okay. Yeah. We don't want to dry. And leave it for fifteen minutes. Yeah. For so it rest. needs to rest for fifteen yeah. minutes. Yeah. Okay. Before we start rolling. Yeah. So our puri dough has rested enough and now we're just going to make out some small balls of dough 
to make our putty. So you can see the size that we're using. So make sure they're not too big. Sm a bit smaller than what you would do for roti yema. Yeah. Much smaller. Yeah. Smaller than roti yeah. yeah. And see how we're going to roll them. So you can see the size there. That's what you want. Because you don't want them too big. But you just want them nice and small. So you can have lots of them. So we're going to fry a few to start with. So make all your balls of dough. Flatten them in the palm of your hand, and then you're going to roll them. So you can see, I'll show you what size we want to roll them. This is the size that we want. And we're going to roll all of them a similar size before we fry them, Yemma. Yeah. So we're frying our pudding now. So our oil is hot, and then we've just got it on our medium high heat now, and we're just going to drop them in gently. See it sizzling away there? And as soon as it comes to the top, we're gently going to start pressing. So press where the ear is already rising and it will puff. So you can see, I'm just gently pressing where the ear rising and then flip it over. Because do the other side as well. The more air you can get into your pudding, the softer it will be. So that was a, wasn't as puffy as it usually should be, but it wasn't too bad. We'll do another one. So gently in, see it come into the top, and then start pressing very slowly, trying to get some air in. Sometimes it doesn't work, so don't stress too much if you can't get them puffed. But if you can, you can see that's nice and puffed. It's better. Also, they probably shouldn't be as brown as the ones I fry because I let them cook a bit too long. But you can see. Actually got some air in that was quite a good one. And our last one we'll do. And let's see if we can get a little bit more air in. Oh, it might be complete failure. But regardless, that's okay. So gently start pressing at the top. Where you see the air bubbles is where you want to press. So you push in the air to the other side. So you can see, just like when you make roti, so if you've been to our classes, there you go, and that's puffed up nicely. There we go, and then we just take it out. So, more air you get in, the softer they'll be, but don't stress too much if you can't, because sometimes even we can't do this. So you can see our puri, and I'll show you what I was talking about when we said getting it puffed up a little bit. So you can see, it's not flat, it's got air in there, um, it's really nice and crispy. Yep, mum would like it lighter, but I'm not ready to it frying them light, so, but these are delicious, so this is what you want to aim for, but don't stress too much if you can't get it like this, because it'll still be crispy and delicious.